All right, gonna walk you guys through a lap of Sebring, show you what I'm doing. So, starting the lap, coming up to turn one. This white line turns into a yellow line as it approaches the wall. And then, just as this yellow line is blending in with the wall and taking a quick stab at the brakes, downshifting into fourth, then I'm gonna start turning in when this wall starts kicking over right about here. I'm getting on the throttle way too early, probably costing myself some time. Maybe not, who knows. But I'm about to get really close to the wall right here. You don't have to get that close, but uh, back to full throttle when you're at that cone up in the fence. I'm sacrificing a bit on corner exit over here, but I really don't want to end up in this dirt, so I'm fine with it. Start braking at the three cone, hard down into first. Try to apex right about here where this curb starts dipping away and also where the paint goes from yellow to white. Do not touch this curb. This curb is death. Start braking again when you get to this curb on the right side. Uh, it's, it's your call whether you want to downshift into first or if you want to keep it into second, but you should have uh, shifted up into second back there. Later apex than you think. And then right when you're pointing at this tree, it's actually a few trees in a row, but from the car, it looks like one huge tree. But when you're pointed there, that's about when you want to start getting back to full throttle. Going to start braking hard just before the first set of cones. Tight onto the apex. Don't worry about getting back to full throttle until you're pointed straight. Gonna brake hard at the first set of cones, down into first gear. Hairpin was first gear too, I think I forgot to say that. Tight on the apex. Little breathe of the throttle through here, otherwise the car gets loose. We get to the first set of cones, brake gently down into second gear, late apex. You can lose a lot of time or gain a lot of time there. It just as the cones end, Brake, downshift into second. You can carry more speed through here than you think you can. And then setting up for the next to last corner, you can get a car width wide of the line. You can kind of see there's extra rubber over here. I'm not quite sure where the line is, how far over you can get before you'll get penalized, but you can definitely get all four on the other side of the white line. Patient getting back on the throttle there. It takes a while to get to that apex. And final corner, I might be losing some time here, but this is my best approach to it. I start turning and just not braking very hard once I get to the, the second cone. Don't worry about getting back on the throttle until you're underneath the bridge. That bridge right in the middle. It's also very bumpy, so try to take a consistent line from corner to corner, otherwise you're going to end up on a different set of bumps than you're expecting. Uh, that was a 50.2, so... Uh, I hope that helps. That's how I'm getting around the track.